ok uh, I am going to give you a test now test each time I say I am going to give you a test but I will keep helping you uh, are you ready with your uh, notebooks and pen ok let us see I am going to give you some sentences and you are going to underline the pronouns ok very easy test There were doors, but they were locked. Okay, next one. Uh, birds build their nests, isn't it? Birds build their nests. Only among human beings we see somebody else comes and builds a house. But birds are so very uh, clever and they are very skillful, they go and build their own nest. We make the mason and the contractor and uh, the engineer to come and plan and build a house. See, so very great animals and birds are, ok. Next one, it was you who Who began the quarrel? Who began the quarrel? What is the meaning of quarrel? A small fight. Big fight will land up in blows. That is, they will punch each other and try to uh, wound each other. But quarrel is just a petty fight. Okay, a small little fight. It was you who began the quarrel. Okay. Sometimes when we fight, you uh, towards the end we say you only started it. It was you who began the quarrel. Okay. That's what you. Say. Don't take that book. Maybe the librarian is telling a, a person, okay, don't take that book. It is hers. Okay. We don't carry money with us. When we travel abroad, usually people don't carry money, lot of money. They always use their card or they uh, have uh, checks or something like that. Okay, they do not carry money. They, uh, we do not carry money with us. When we travel, we do not carry money with us. When we travel is understood. Okay. You and I do not agree in all matters. Agree in all matters. What does this mean? See, all of us are not the same. It, it does not, uh, it is not that if I say something, you have to agree to it, isn't it? You, I may say something, I may think something and you may think and say something else, isn't it? So, you and I do not agree in all matters. All five fingers are not the same. Each finger is of a different uh, size and shape. Same way, you may uh, be different, I may be different. You need not agree to all that I say. That is what it matters. My, uh, here, this is the meaning, you and I do not agree in all matters.
Hari kept his cycle in the garage. You know what a garage is? Garage is a place where they uh, keep their cars and all the tools regarding the cars. Uh, foreign countries, all, uh, all houses will have a garage. Okay? Only in our uh, place we have cars parked in open uh, area or a protected area. But foreign countries, it is necessary they should have a garage. Okay. Raj took his dog to school. We uh, talked about a lamb going to school now. Raj took his dog to school. For he followed him. wherever he went. Okay. Now shall we underline the pronouns now? You have already studied the pronouns and the forms also. Okay. There were doors but they were locked. What is this? First, is it first person or second person or third person? Third person plural, isn't it? Next one, birds build their nests. Again, third person. It was you who began the quarrel, first person. Don't take that book, it is hers. It is also a pronoun and hers is also a pronoun. It is a form of the personal pronoun. We here also, it was you. Okay, now we don't carry money with us. We is a third person plural. Carry money with us. It's a form of the personal pronoun, us. Okay, you and I do not agree in all matters, you and I. So, we find here two uh, personal pronouns, you and I. This is second person and this is third person. Do not agree in all matters. Hari kept his cycle in the garage. Now, his, this is a form of third person singular. He, she, it, there we saw his. Raj took his dog to school for he followed him wherever he went. So many pronouns you can find here. Raj took his dog. Raj vandu avan udiyanaye palliki alaitthi sendran. For he followed him. En and Ral and the Nayana de Avanai Pintorande Enge Ponalam Sender de. It followed him wherever he went. Okay. Now, have you understood how to write uh, uh, pronouns and what their meaning is and where they should come? You cannot use uh, you in the place where you have to use he or uh, she in the place where it is he. So, you should use the pronouns also correctly. Only then the sentences will make proper sense. Okay. Shall we go on to the next part of uh, this pronoun which is reflexive pronouns. See pronouns itself has so much to learn. Now, each and every part of speech if you see you can, if you learn all these uh, parts of speech thoroughly, you can form any sentence beautifully without any errors. So, now we have seen 
pronouns or personal pronouns and their forms. Now next I am going to teach you the reflexive pronouns. Okay, now uh, we are going to see how this uh, pronoun can be called a reflexive pronoun. Under reflexive pronoun, we have emphatic uh, pronouns also. Adala, you do, do not worry. Okay, S E L F, self, and or attachment uh, pronoun could have put them other than reflexive pronoun. For example, him plus self, himself, she plus self, uh, mean uh, her plus self, herself, it plus self, itself. You plus self, yourself, um, um, we or our, our plus self, ourself. Okay, now the self will be pating na, model na number three persons pato la first person, second person, third person, that is the personal pronouns main idla self add avade, that is not your forms ni pato la him, her, it. Uh, your, our, the idhul or idhukuda da the self add on. Okay, I myself uh, could guess the answer. Abdin sunna. That I myself, myself. That is, naane and the vidaye kandu puri the. Abdin sunna. You yourself don't know this answer. Abdin na bhakey onakke and the badal teriyada. Abdin. इधर लोगों ने नरेया पर इंग्लिश पेस मोड़े, she itself told me man और she itself did this and that, अजू रोम्बा तावर, okay, अजू कादा ना उंगले की इधर ला proper आ सोली तरह, नरेया पर he itself don't know how to drive a car, दिने, अजू एप्पली he itself आवो, it इन रे तो वंदा neuter gender, isn't it? I have already taught you all the genders. Uh, it is neuter gender and he is masculine gender. So how can we say he itself uh, don't know? He doesn't know and were know. Adhikada, I taught you uh, how we should use the tenses also. See that is why we should learn a language grammatically. Then we won't make mistakes. Just for the sake of uh, speaking three or four words uh, in English, that doesn't mean uh, we are speaking English fluently. Okay. He doesn't, she doesn't, but it, uh, it also doesn't. But when you say you, we say you doesn't, we don't say you don't, I don't, we don't, okay. So th there is a difference in how you use uh, the pronouns and verb and uh, adjectives. And next we are going to see adverbs after pronoun, we are going to see adverbs, okay. So this reflexive pronouns will talk about, it will talk about ourselves or oneself or himself or herself, okay. When we add self to the personal, the forms of personal pronoun, it is a reflexive pronoun. I will just write here, when we add, when we add the word self. To the forms of personal pronoun, it is reflexive. It is it is a reflexive pronoun okay for example or I just write all the reflexive pronouns and you can we will make sentences later that is myself ourself Myself and ourself are uh, first person singular, my, myself, we, ourselves. okay. Same way plural, how do you write? You write selves, myself, my, myself is singular, 
um, how do you write ourself or ourselves? Okay, this F becomes V and ourselves. You, yourself. Yourself is for singular and yourselves is for plural. Okay, next one. Himself. Herself, itself, and their self. Okay, now these are the reflexive pronouns, and we are going to see how to make sentences from these words myself and ourselves. I myself, could, could uh, work out the sum. That is without anybody's help, I myself could work out the sum. We uh, ourselves we ourselves uh, painted this picture. Nani in the Kanake workout pannen. I myself worked out the sum. We ourselves painted this picture. Nangale yar udavi milama nangale in the padate nangal paint aditom or color aditom. Okay. We ourselves painted this picture. Next. You yourself. Should wear your shoes. Sometimes children ask their parents to wear the shoes for them. Uh, then the parents say, No, 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 you yourself should learn to wear your shoes. Isn't it? See, you is also a pronoun, yourself is also a pronoun. Your is also a pronoun. So many pronouns you have in this sentence. And you yourself should wear your shoes. Yourself is a reflexive pronoun. All the rest are ordinary pronouns. Okay, next one. And uh, you can be used for singular or for plural. Next, himself. Um, He brought he brought the bike by himself. Okay. He brought the bike by himself. Maybe you somebody left the bike and uh, came and he brought the bike by himself. Without uh, asking for anybody's help, he brought it by himself. Okay, some uh, one more sentence we'll see. She herself uh, weaved this sari. She herself weaved this sari. Weaving, you know, neither. Avade in the sari, neither. Okay. Those days 
people used to sit and weave uh, towels and bed sheets and saris and all and uh, it was very common during during Gandhiji's time he taught people to weave with a chakra he said you need even if you have uh, uh, time for anything else but you should make your own clothes and keep your clothes the barest minimum don't uh, have plenty to wear just one dhoti and a um, I mean a shawl or something same way for women a nice sari and uh, uh, she used to teach them how to weave weave nadal okay she herself next one uh, the dog Mm. brought the paper itself by itself sometimes they train their dogs to bring things uh, they uh, they throw a ball and say fetch and the uh, dog brings the ball to them Sometimes when um, early morning when you uh, see the paper man keeping the paper in the place or if he throws it into your compound, the dog goes and brings it. I have a dog which does that. He always uh, waits for the paper man to come and he takes the paper and brings it. It brings it by its mouth and gives it to us. So uh, it's how you train a dog. The dog brought the paper by itself. See, itself here denotes the dog. Okay. Now we have, have uh, their selves um, or themselves. Okay. This will be themselves. The plural will be themselves. Uh, okay. Can we have a sentence for that? Mm. They themselves could not uh, reach the station. Or they themselves they themselves could not understand could not understand French I'll write. Okay, I have written they themselves could not understand French. I haven't written English because I know that all of you have understood English very well. So far we have been doing a lot with you and I am very sure you have understood the language very well. And uh, French is a foreign language. It is not an international language like English. English is spoken in all the countries uh, all over the world. So. They themselves could not understand French. Okay. Avargalakku, avargalagave, French ba moriye, teriye, French mori peso teriye vilai or French moriye teriye vilai. Okay. So you saw here reflexive pronouns myself, ourselves, myself, ourselves, yourself, yourselves also you can say because it stands both for singular and plural he uh, himself herself itself and themselves so have you understood how to write these sentences shall i give you a, a test on this okay let's see a short test to uh, check whether you have understood okay i will just clean uh, now and you have sentences here I'll just clean the board and I'm going to give you the sentences. So copy down these sentences before I clean and I'm going to give you sentences and you're going to under understand and fill in with reflexive pronouns. <laughs> 